Hey guys, this is the Azure guy and we're gonna talk about scaling up and scaling out. Hope you like it. So when we say about scaling up or scaling out, it's like scaling is increasing something. So what we're going to discuss about what we're going to increase. So let's see, let's take an example of uh, a cake website. So the cake website name is getmycake.com. So here we have a list of cakes which are available. And uh, this particular website has been hosted at, a, uh, at his own desktop since the business was small. So when his business starts expanding and the Christmas hits, and then there's a requirement of a lot of instances of the website, like the website should run in numerous number of desktops so that it can bear the load. Initially, the desktop, the de de desktop version of uh, when the website was hosted on a desktop, it was serving. Uh, let's take an example. It was serving around thousand people and the UI performance lowers down and it can only improve if uh, the instances or he can increase the distance the, he can add more hardware so that the computing power increases and he can have more instances of that particular application and give uh, to his customers so that's what like uh, we we talk about scaling so when we come to azure uh, getting the VM, vm instances or hardware in a minute is not it's not such a difficult task. You get provision uh, provision of your websites. If you host a website on, on Azure, then you can scale up or scale out in few minutes. So what, what we mean by scale up? What do we mean by scale up? Scale up is nothing but uh, you have nothing but just uh, the, like you if you if you have hosted your application on a 2 gb ram or 100 gb hard disk machine then you can increase that particular ram to 200 gb so that it can support a large number of huge number of users huge number of users and it can increase the 1000 gb hard disk as well so that it can process request that is scale up What is scale out is you have a 2 GB RAM of desktop in the existing existing virtual machine where you host your application and you scale out to number of similar kind of VMs like number of 2 GB RAMs of VMs around 10, 10 VMs you take up so that you can bear the same load which you were bearing with a larger size of RAM. So this is scale out and scale up. So let's talk about something called as some concepts which are important in understanding uh, deployments. So, so here I gave an example of here in a DC, in a, in a data center, you have server racks. Here server rack 1, server rack 2 and server rack 3. So these are server racks and server racks have host servers in it, the blue color lines. The host servers are nothing but they can they, they as we talked previously it would be like an azure uh, os installed azure windows os installed machines on this service we have vms installed vms installed with the help of hyper v okay and this the the total server rack can serve huge number of host servers and the host the server rack have a single point of uh, network in and out called a star switch or the full form is top of for axe switch and so this is a this is a physical physical uh, representation of physical hardware which are there in every data centers or uh, in an azure data center so we will be going uh, we'll be reading out certain terminologies now like uh, we will be knowing about what is update domain which is called as ud1 what is called as availability set what are fault domains So let's start with update domain. So update domain is a term which is used uh, in Azure 
stating that whenever you want, whenever a patch update would be done on your host server, on your host server, that update would be done instance by instance. So, like if you have one, you if you have procured a two-core machine, so one core machine, one core host, one core VM uh, sits in a host in UD1, and another sits in a UD2, so that it will give you an availability of 99.95%. Azure says that if you have, if you want your application to be 99.95% SLA and up and uptime having 99.95%, then you need to have at least two instances so that those two instances, we can place it in two different update domain. So whenever a patch update or software update happens on a host, it happens UD by UD. So first software update would happen on UD1. So this would be update. And the second software update would happen at UD2. This is the second update. So after UD1, the host in UD1 completes, then only UD2 happens. And if you know, if it, there's, there's a logical concept, concept called as an availability set. So availability set is, like if you want to host your service on Azure, your services are placed in a service in a single region so that there won't be issue with uh, the network going in or coming in if, they are, if the, these applications are interacting to one each other. So that is called an availability set. And fault domains are each server rack can be considered as one single fault domain. So this is one fault domain, this is one fault domain, this is one fault domain. Why fault domain concept came? Because you can see the top, the top of rack switch. It can be a single point of failure. So whenever something, some network switch fails, hardware switch fails, then it would impact one instance running on your, on a server. So one in one fault domain. It won't impact on another instance which is running on another fault domain. So that's how you can make your application be alive or give an SLA of 99.95%. So that's what we read about update domain, availability set, fault domain. We'll be discussing more about Azure internals in the next topic. There's turkey in the oven, the mashed potatoes bubbling, watching football with our family and our friends. We smell the food a cooking, and Grandpa keeps a looking. Grandma pushes him out of the kitchen again. The little cousins, they all zoom, screaming loud from room to room. We don't seem to care.